Hello students. Welcome on board to the exciting world of logistics. I am very happy to take you through the different types of warehouse layouts. The design of the warehouse is extremely important for efficient functioning of a warehouse which can reduce human efforts, cost and improve productivity. The objective of a warehouse layout is to arrange and coordinate space, equipment and labor resources of the warehouse. This area is the loading and unloading bay. You can see the goods being loaded or unloaded from the trucks. Usually in warehouses there are fixed time schedules for these activities. This area is called staging and here the goods unloaded from the trucks are checked against invoice and counted. Simultaneously during the counting the goods are checked for damages. If damages are found during the transit they are sent to a separate area where the damaged goods are stored in racks and returned to their point of origin. Similarly the outbound goods are also checked labeled and counted before they are sent for delivery. This is the actual storage area for goods. The goods can be arranged on ground or on pallets or on light duty or heavy duty racks as per the product weight and the warehouse layout design. This is the office area where the warehouse team sits. Warehouse staff use these workstations for using the warehouse management system software and ERP or Enterprise Resource Planning Software. The office area will have a conference room, cabins for managers and a pantry. This is the record room where all the warehouse records are kept. The documents for various inward and outward transactions are usually bound and stored monthwise. The law also requires all transaction records to be stored for a certain set of years. For example, if there is a need to show the POD, a particular dispatch which occurred about a year back, the same can be retrieved from the record room and shared or can be retrieved from the warehouse management system software and printed and given to the requesters or managers. This is the place where activities like kitting, labeling, packing and bundling happens. This is called the utility area where the server and communication rooms, restrooms are located. This is called access control area, a protected area where high valued items, important warehouse records are maintained. Entry to this area is restricted to authorized staff alone. This area is monitored by CCTV. Remember students, the optimum designing of the warehouse is essential for maximizing the advantages of any warehouse. Whether a warehouse is a small manual warehouse or a large automated facility, the designing of the warehouse is governed by the following principles. Product. What are the products which the warehouse will be storing? Are the products coming in small boxes or big ones? Will they be in a variety of sizes? In case of a variety of sizes, then different zones need to be designed and created in the warehouse. Space. The warehouse dimensions and characteristics play a huge role in the capacity of the warehouse. Reinforced cement concrete and pre-engineered building are used to construct warehouse. RCC or reinforced cement concrete can't be expanded which is a definite disadvantage. Some warehouses are very long and less in breadth. Height, nature of floor, columns also contribute to the final layout design of the warehouse. Equipments. What are the type of MHE or material handling equipment required? This will also play an important role in warehouse layout design. Circulation of goods. Circulation here means the movement of goods. Some of the electronic items are fast moving 
and hence the warehouse needs to be designed to support the continuous movement of goods. Personnel How much manpower is required to carry out the warehouse operation on a daily basis? In case of manpower, which is not available, the company would spend more on equipment and automation. Future expansion In case the inventory is going to increase in future, new products or more automation, the warehouse needs to be designed addressing future needs. Generally, selection and investment in storage racks which offer good space utilization for different product categories, sizes and average volume and handling equipment which can be used in narrow aisles and continuous flow of items are advisable. U-shaped flow The advantage in the U-shaped flow is that the dock's resources, which may include people, space and equipment, are fully used as receiving and shipping happens in the same floor. Put away and retrieval can be combined. Enhances in security as entry and exit happens at the same phase. Straight through. This has separate bays for inbound and shipping. Products flow in a straight line at receiving to storage, picking and then dispatch. High valued items are stored in a central location to reduce the total traveling time. Hello again. I am sure that this animation has given you a good insight of the various possible layouts for warehouses. We shall meet again in our next session. Till then, it's bye from Logo.